politics, I mean, it's fine. I mean, you should be involved and you should have opinions and you should vote and you should, that's a stewardship and all that. It's all great. But if our hope is in a political person or political party or whatever, that's a problem. Because as Jesus people, what we're committed to, our allegiance and our hope is in King Jesus, is in El El Yan. And even as we approach like a new election season with the midterm elections and people are gonna be nervous and people are gonna get a little bit grumpy or a little mad at each other, whatever, let's remember that El El Yan is not up for re-election. That the God who is in control is not wondering how it's gonna go. He's not up there biting his fingernails and big, huge fingernails coming down from the sky. You know, that's not happening because he's, in complete, he's the one that raises leaders up. He's the one that tears them down. He is the one who is working out his purposes in our world. And therefore, we don't have to be scared. We don't have to be nervous. And we certainly shouldn't let that divide us because what unites us as a church, we're an expression of the kingdom of God, not of this world. And therefore, it's a, when, when we are in, in situations, and we're so polarized in our culture, if we allow that to happen in church, then we start scoring points for the wrong team. <laughs> 